guys so today I'm doing a really really fun video which I wanted to do for a long time and I actually did it but it was one of those videos which I filmed and my voice used to be so quiet in my videos because I thought that my um, camera records my voice um, louder but it doesn't so yeah I um, actually ended up not up uploading that one because it was way too quiet and I I actually had a really hard time editing the beginning of it because I couldn't hear a thing I was saying so I actually gave up and deleted that one. So this is a new one and um, it's gonna be a bit different. That one was supposed to be like super long, at least half an hour long video just because I wanted to tell you like everything about the Polaroids and all that but this time I'm going to make it a bit shorter. Maybe um. I don't know, same information but in different words or something like that. So to start with, I have this um, Polaroid camera and it is a Polaroid one step closer and it looks like this. And if you, um, if maybe, I don't know if you can hear it, the um, flash is um, loading or I don't know, heating or something like that, so it looks like this. And well, if you want to take a picture, you're supposed to like, um, take it on the like sides or something like that well um this is the button you click for taking a picture uh, the flash this one a button you click if you want without a flash and you just do that you see um okay like, like so and now the film i have inside this camera is completely empty so i can like take a picture of you guys and you will see how it works i don't know or not just okay let's do it because it's fun and I like to do that. I like to annoy people with that, so why not? Okay, smile. Okay, I don't know if you saw the flash or not, but okay, now let's do it without the flash and you can hear it. And uh, when you hear the sound, the picture would like uh, come from here and you're supposed to take it and hide it from light because, well, you're supposed to sh uh, hide all the pictures you get because if, it, if the light, um, they stay uh, if they stay in the light for too long they might be very blurry they might not come out the way as they're supposed to uh, come out and yeah just not good for the chemicals to develop so yeah um okay now i'm going to show you a very exciting thing i'm gonna i have a new film um right here i have i have a new pack of film right here which i've opened already but I haven't yet um, loaded it into my camera so I'm going to do that with you now and I'm going to show you how to do that so it's pretty easy if you have the same um, module of camera you can like I don't know I'm gonna close the flash and you see this um, this little uh, button I don't know here you're supposed to like push it and the door opens see the door opens and you're supposed to like take out the old film you see it's empty it's empty it has batteries here that's why the camera can work without the um film the camera doesn't work just because the film has batteries which is why in the first place the film is so freaking expensive so um yeah okay i'm gonna load the i'm gonna close for for a bit because i need to take out everything and it has like a lot of things here okay so we get um First, we get this um, little information slip and, you know, just also um, some basic advices on uh, photos. Well, actually, in my first video, the original one about the Polaroids that I made, I actually discussed how you should um, take a picture and all these um, uh, things that I mentioned here. But now I'm not going to do that because you literally can like read this and it says a lot about that so i don't know okay so now we have a film pack and it has a wonderful quote on it if you can see it can you you should okay because well in, in the impossible project films has really um cool um titles and quotes and pictures and all that on on this um slip okay now that i'm going to um again open the drawer by clicking the button yeah it's open and you're supposed to um see this you're supposed to put it that way like that way and when i put it in and close the jaw you will see that this uh, pretty 
uh, this pretty um, sheet, I don't know, will come, come out like a picture. So um, let's do that again. <laughs> Okay, you're supposed to like um, load in the film, like you, okay, I'm gonna show you again. You're supposed to like put it in and just, and you feel it and just push it gently in, like all the way back, all the way back. Okay, it's stuck. No, it doesn't. So, like that, see? It's, it's all the way. And then you're supposed to close the jaw and now you will see how it like um, spits that cute quote, so. Okay, I'm going to show you. One, two, three. Okay, close it. Okay, it doesn't close. I put it wrong, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, so I... How did I put it wrong? Okay, I'm like doing this tutorial and putting it wrong. Wow, go me. Okay, oh, you're supposed to push it in and more. Just like... It, it's supposed to be steady in here. Okay, now you can close the jar and look, magic happens. Ta-da! And you can see that quote again. You're supposed to like take it off and that's it. The film is in. And if you um open up the flash, it's loading again. And if I click the button, I would take a picture, but I don't want to take a picture, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, um, um it has also this um little um screen here, but you probably can't see it. Okay, oh, okay, you can, you can, it says 10, but since the Impossible Project um, cameras, well, the Impossible Project films contain only 8 pictures, so you're supposed to, every time you take a picture and you see that number, you're supposed to um, uh, take out, um, you're supposed to take out like uh, 2, and if it says 10, then it's 8, if it says 9, then it's 7, and all that. So, um, it, it's good sometimes to keep up with how many photos you have left, if you don't know. So, that's good. Okay, um, what I also like about this camera is that um, it doesn't, when, when you um, close the flash, it doesn't like, can't take a, uh, it can't take a picture and all that. It's very convenient. And also, it has um, a close-up lens here, and you're supposed to like, um, I don't know, see? It's just body, just a little body coming. Okay, I found it. Okay, uh, did I just broke it or something? No, I didn't. It's working. Okay, um, so this is um, brightness, bright, middle, um, darker. And when you take a picture, depending on lightning. Okay, just so you know, if you're completely in the sun or something and you want to take a picture, I recommend. I'm um, taking a picture without a flash and with darkest setting because believe me I have so many overexposed pictures and I, I am really sad. I feel like um, I ruined a good, I don't know, a good uh, photo with that because I thought oh maybe it would be too dark if I just you know darken and don't use flash. Just it's really up to you actually because i don't know you're supposed to mm, take some pictures first to get you used to the camera get used to i don't know settings lightning and outside inside it doesn't matter but most of the time i offer to use um middle one you know middle brightness or just i don't know a darker setting because uh, usually um it's light if uh, even well, usually if you're taking a picture outside and if it's like night or night time, then use the flash and I don't know, maybe when the light is setting. I haven't actually taken a picture in the night in the night time yet, so I can't really tell you, but I don't know, you should try it yourself and just experiment, I guess. Sometimes when you like fail to, to take a good picture, the one you get might even look, I don't know, more artistic or something like that. So it's kind of a, a good practice, I think. Just take a picture take pictures and just, I don't know, you, you will get experience, uh, actually, but just so you know, well, I, I, I still make, it, I'm still making mistakes after, um, two pack of films, and I've already, like, um, and I've already, um, finished, like, uh, do I guess yeah two pack of films and I still <laughs> end up making some mistakes sometimes photo is overexposed sometimes it's not I don't know um I didn't use my close-up lens and it came out blurry and all that but with time you'll get experience really don't worry and I don't worry as well because I'm starting to like I don't know get into everything and since the, since the film is pretty expensive so it's really um hard to you know <laughs> to take a lot of pictures to practice because it costs you money so um yeah but just I don't know just I try your best and I believe you will get something okay that sounded just wrong really i just like blabbed for like uh, four minutes about how you should 
do it yourself while I'm making this kind of advice video. Okay, I'm, I'm really weird, really, really, really weird. Okay, I'm gonna put down my camera. And now I'm going to show you some of my pictures, I guess. Some of the um, ones I managed to ruin. And I usually carry my pictures in this old um, film box. But I'm planning to buy maybe, um, I don't know, something nicer for them to carry in. And yeah, okay, this is the amount of photos I have, not much, two films. And this is my actually, most of these pictures were taken in London when I was there back in February because that's when I got my camera. And when I went to London, I bought film and took tons of pictures, so most of them are from London. I'm just gonna quickly um, go through them and show you the ones that I ruined and all that. Okay, so I took this one in Pizza Hut and as, as you can see, I've written some captions on most of the photos because I felt like doing so and this one came out kind of all right I took, took it inside maybe I should have used the close-up lens because it came out kind of blurry but it looks all right okay the next one I took in the bathroom and it's supposed to be a selfie but it's too dark because I didn't use a flash and I should have um, used the lightest setting but I didn't I use I believe the darkest or the middle one so it turned out to be ugly this one I took when the sun was out and it's too light, as you can see, I should have... Uh, I, I used flash for this even though I set on the darker setting, so, but it's still ruined it. Um, the next one, again, a selfie and I shook the camera too much, but this one's kind of okay, I guess. This one's one of the, I don't know, best, uh, as I, I can say, I don't know, just the lightning, well, just I shook the camera a, a bit because I, I wanted like to take a good selfie, but I, I don't know, it's kind of, oh my god. The pictures are running away from me. Um, it kind of looks alright, I guess. The next one is one of my favorites. It's the picture of London Eye. As you can see, it looks like some kind of cute, um, I don't know, painting or a cute card or something like that. I'm really proud of this. It looks so gorgeous. The sun was out. I didn't use any flash. I used the darker setting and it came out just lovely. Um, the next one is the picture of Be Big Ben, um, you know, all that, and uh, again, you use the same setting I used for the um, London Eyes, so it came out really nice again. Um, the next one I took in Camden, but the sun was out, I didn't use any flash, I used the darker setting and it, it turned out to be way too light, so maybe, I don't know, I, I actually, when I took a picture, I looked way too much in the sun and it turned out to be quite a mess, I don't know. Um, again, another one from Camden. This one's kind of cute, but again, a bit overexposed in some places. Um, this is from um, Chinatown. Again, I'm not sure, but I kind of like this one. Another one, this one I really like, and it, it just, it's just so gorgeous, I think. It looks really nice. Um, okay, so I asked... So I asked my dad's um, friend to take a picture of me in the... Uh, telephone box but it came out too dark and I asked her not to use flash and use the darker setting because the sun was like still out but it was like 5 p.m. 6 p.m. and it was in February so it was getting dark uh, step by step and I kind of sad because if I, I told her to use a flash it would uh, it would look like perfect picture so I'm really upset it's it's really dark and that makes me really sad because it looks so nice when you look at it but it's just too dark Okay, um, my friend took this one in one, I don't know, coffee shop, and it looks, I don't know, she kind of shaked the camera, so as you can see, it's like another me right here, but it looks some kind of, like, a ghost figure, or something like that, so I really like this one, it's, it's, it's an interesting picture, and I like it. Another selfie, not really, my friend took it, but it was in winter, so the colors are quite um, purple and quite blue and all that, but I like this one. This one is probably from the selfie ones, the ones that are of me, are my favorite one. It is my favorite one, really. Um, okay, the next one again of me, well, we went um, geocaching. If you don't know what that is, you should really download that, then you will find out. It's awesome. And my friend took a picture of me and all the treasures we found, and we took it outside, and, was, and it was a really cold day, so it turned out to be, like, very, um, um, cool tone so yeah another another one we took out time with one of my friends so we asked this um girl to take a picture of us and it was again very um cold outside so it turned out very cool tone but this one's cute i gotta say i like it 
And the last one, the most recent one, I took off my um, mom, my grandparents and their um, puppy in, in, their, in um, their place. And just, I'm kind of sad because I used a flash and I forgot to use the darker setting and it was really sunny. So yeah, it's a bit overexposed, but I kind of like it. Okay, the camera doesn't catch the colors, right? It, it actually has colors, so I'm sorry for that. Okay, that's all of the pictures I've taken so far. And, uh, well, I'm going to um, this music festival called Devilstone in, um, in three days, <laughs> yay. So I'm taking my Polaroid camera with the film I just loaded and I have like eight pictures to take photos, so it's gonna be super fun. Okay, I'm not, I'm not planning to use like all of the film, but I'm gonna definitely take some photos there, so yeah, I'm really excited to do that. But um, what I wanted to tell you, oh my god, I can't like remember, okay. Last time when I filmed this video for the first time, I ended up talking for over an hour, but the desert version of the video is supposed to take like half an hour, and now it's like only 16 minutes as I can see, and I haven't like said anything important, wow, and I don't know what to say really, wow, I, I'm, I'm also mad at Rises, uh, am I? Oh, oh, I remember it. I actually told my um, Polaroid camera story into that, uh, in that video, but if I'm not mistaken, I already told you that in my February favorites long time ago. So if you want to have a story, just watch that video because I don't know, I don't really feel like telling it again, I guess. And I don't want, uh, I don't want to make a super long video really this time. So I don't know, I just kind of showed uh, my pictures, that's all, and just loaded the film. Okay. Um, any advices maybe? Wow, I, I, this video is supposed to be more, more of on the advice side, but I didn't tell like any advice as well. I'm awesome, really, yeah. Um, just one quick thing. If you believe that you've already mastered the Polaroid takings, the Polaroid pictures taking technique, then you should definitely um try to find like the old original Polaroid <laughs> film on eBay or I don't know, um, second hand shops i i don't know really where you can find it uh, except online because i live where you can barely even find anything polaroid related so yeah um yeah so and these um usually films usually these films some of them don't work because the chemicals don't work anymore but some of them can like take wonderful weird pictures okay me myself i have the original um film uh, kind of not the full pack, just um, I believe there was five or six pictures, I don't remember, because they came with my camera inside of it, so I'm gonna use them a bit um, later, I don't know, when I finish up this new film I, I'm load I loaded um, in front of you, <laughs> so um, it it's more of an experimental thing, because the chemicals might be um, shifted in some places or something like that, and you may get like wonderful dis uh, I'm, I'm, I almost just said wonderful dessert, but what I meant was wonderful results and maybe some weird results as well, but in a good way. So I don't know, if you want to experiment and you feel like you've mastered this, um, I don't know, art, um, I don't know, then you should definitely um, try to do that. Just look for more information online because I haven't like really yet read about that too much but I've heard that some people only buy uh, the original Polaroid film just because they prefer it so I don't know. Just try uh, what's best for you and yeah. Okay that's it for this video. It turned out to be <laughs> quite short. The I expected a bit longer with you, but yeah, I, I believe I said everything I wanted and if I forgot something, I will definitely insert it in the description box below. So um, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as usual and bye!